So I asked my stream chat a while ago whether or not they would want me to play Ceramic Crucible. Now, the Ceramic Crucible is not the most interesting of arenas, I'll give you that. But it is what most people are capable of, because a lot of people struggle up in the higher arenas where it's basically only meta gameplay and everything has to be so precise. Of course, I'm still going to do those videos, but today I was thinking of going into Ceramic Crucible boost only, just to showcase some easy strategies and kind of focus a lot on what my opponents are doing wrong because not a lot of people in this arena are the greatest and if this video can help you out then um, please drop a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can hit 10 likes for this video and my point here is I'm just gonna be trying my best to, uh, to show mistakes really and uh, maybe show some easy strategies how they're played so on. I'm gonna be skipping A game, and he skipped pinball. Okay, we're in Snowfall. You can go a lot of strategies on Snowfall. I actually like to go Copra Village, oh, sorry, uh, Copra, um, Sup, and Bomb. Mostly because it's, it's well, <laughs> it's a Copra strategy, which I find very fun. Like, I like to do Copra strategies. I don't think they're too complicated, uh, necessarily. Um, but, yeah, they're pretty fun to play. So, what you want to do here, at least what I'm going to do, I'm going to be focusing more on my opponent rather than myself, honestly. But keep in mind that I put both of my Cobras to strong in this case. And that's because Cobras, they do two damage. Um, they can take out a blue balloon, which is why you want them on strong. You want, you'd rather have them dealing damage to the strongest balloons rather than dealing damage to... Uh, What's it called? Uh, what, like, rather than chasing reds, you know? So right now they're taking care of all these blue balloons, as you can see. And then they'll pick up the reds in the end. So I'm going to eco to 261 here. My opponent is going heli. And already here I can see a mistake. One, um, he waited before he started ecoing. And he only sent a little bit of spaced eco. He hasn't put down a farm yet. And he has not... Um, what's it called? Okay, so he puts down a farm now. One, he shouldn't have sent that eco, that was kind of dumb. He could have maybe greeted for the farm sooner. Going for the heli isn't the worst. But, uh, yeah, right now he's just going to be farming, it appears. But he did send a little bit of stuff, which was weird. Now, in my case, I'm ecoing, so this is actually pretty good for me, actually. Um, the reason this is good for me is because my opponent... Heli is not good early game. It's really bad against, like, group balloons. And the thing is, if I force a lot of defense on my opponent right now, as you can see, like, he's chasing because of the blues that I'm sending him. If I force a lot of defense right now, then he's gonna actually struggle a bit. Um, mostly because he will need to upgrade his heli, which um, makes him not able to upgrade his farms. This is also why you want to, like, force defense in the beginning and stuff. Alright, now he sends me blues. I'm just gonna go for a frag bomb here uh, to take care of these. He didn't even send that many. Okay, he goes for another zero, 0 farm. Might have not been the wisest choice, but okay. And right now he's chasing quite a bit, so I'm going to send him a, a few blacks up behind just to keep him chasing, really. And now I want to keep on uh, keep on sending him stuff here. So as you can see, he's chasing uh, a lot to all of these blacks. He now goes for ninja. Again, this is what I would consider a bad move, because look how terrible his farms are. He just had to sell an entire farm. Also, the 3-2 um, the ninja, or 3-1 ninja, whatever that is, it's not good against group balloons. Like, he's really going to struggle to these yellows. This might even force a boost. Or death, in his case. Okay, this forced a boost, which I'm surprised about. He boosted way too late. Um, but yeah, this actually allows for me to uh, boost a more yellows at him round 9. Which is what I'm going to do. So he just went for his plantation here. This is bad because right after a boost, you, you don't want to go for uh, for a plantation because you kind of need to def uh, defend. As you can see right now, I've drained him so hard that he has like he has no money. He has um, he has very low eco, and he was forced to sell everything. He doesn't have any um, lead detection either. I can notice, so I'm gonna send him a lead. He should upgrade his heli instead of getting up a balloon jitsu, in my opinion. But he's just not playing this very well. I mean, his strategy is not that well. And, and he uses his fourth tower. His strategy is not that good. As you can clearly see. And now he sells that to put it at the bottom. 
He could have used his spikes, I think. All right, let's put down a camo here. There we go. He might just honestly try and like all out me or something. Boosted pings are honestly gonna do nothing. I'm sorry, buddy. And it does look like he's just gonna go down to this. As I said, <laughs> these games are not gonna be very exciting because I don't think a lot of CC players know what they're doing. But as you can see, this guy, I, I, I don't even know. I think the problem with Ceramic Crucible is a lot of people, they just rely on rushing round 13 all out. They have no clue what to do when their opponent actually knows how to defend. Wait, did I just go in the wrong arena? Wait, this is Ceramic Crucible, right? Yeah, okay. I just thought I went in the wrong arena. Okay, we actually get a... Um... Nah, this guy doesn't look good either. But we actually get someone with a lot of mets here. So I'm just going to give him the hard eyes. We're going to be skipping indoor pools, though. This is very rare you see someone. At least I feel like... I actually don't know. But I feel like it's rare you see someone with that many medallions here. But sure, we can play um, We can play Mountain Pass. Okay, he doesn't want to play Mountain Pass. Treasure Hunt, okay. Treasure Hunt is an interesting map. You're very susceptible to like all-out rushes here. Which can be scary, but I actually like to go eco on this map. Um, the only thing you have to be careful about is don't boost. If you boost, you die. Uh, especially early on, which ecoing is actually pretty hard to pull off, um, especially in these arenas. Mostly because if you over eco, you're done for. If you under eco, you're done for. All right, so I'm actually gonna go for this right here, and I will be anti-stalling just so he doesn't get down his second cobra. The thing anti-stalling does, for those who don't understand, is um, it ends the round sooner. As you can see, the round ended 22 seconds in. Which means that he didn't get up his second wired fund, and that just lost him $80. Anti-stalling, however, is good for me because I'm ecoing, so the sooner round 1 ends, um, the sooner I can start sending red balloons. As you can see right now, I could start sending red balloons 22 seconds into the game, instead of having to wait like 28 seconds, right? So that's the thing anti-stalling does, and which is why it, it's good. I don't want to stall anymore now because I don't want to end all the rounds too soon. As I just did. Um, but it's kind of like my only option here. Because I can't really place my Buccaneer too much in the back. Because then, I'm, th then I'll just be in a bad spot. But right now we're just going to be trying to overwhelm him. He's going Cobra Wizard. Which honestly I don't feel is that great a strategy. I feel like mine is going to do better. Especially late and stuff. Now he boosts pinks at me. I wouldn't say this is the best thing to do. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend it because I think that's a waste of a boost. Because he's not going to get a lot of leaks out of me from that. And I don't feel like he's going to get a lot of forced defense either. I might just go for this because now he can send me blacks which can actually make me leak. And we don't want that. I'm just going to keep on ecoing though. He should be ecoing more, I feel like. He's not ecoing that much. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Grape Shot here when I can. Just because otherwise I'll leak too much to uh, the Black Bloons, which won't be fun. But I'm gonna go to roughly, I'm thinking 550 eco, something like that. It's around 7 right now. We are chilling to this. Our two Grape Shots are pretty OP. Uh, so we're not gonna, we might take a few leaks, honestly, but I doubt we'll leak that much here. Let's see, we're at 509 right now. Against yellows, we should be fine unless he sends a huge, huge yellow rush. But let's see. I'll just. I think I'll stop here at 550. We don't want to over eco too much either. Yeah, as you can see, now he's sending yellows and he's uh, bloom boosting them. I'm gonna go for a mortar. There we go. Alright, I'm actually gonna boost it and just spike once. Nice. He forced a boost because he boosted a ton of yellows at me. Just on the uh, on the edge of defending. Alright, now I can't boost anymore. Now I have to be really careful here. Um, I will need to get up a destroyer though. He's giving us the hard eyes. I'm down a boost, but it's okay because I'll get it back round 15. Also, right now I'm going for this. 
He's trying to get me to boost again, I think. If he boosts um, these at me, I should be fine. I'll go for a bigger blast, though. And I'm thinking of going for a crow's nest as well. Nice. I should be good to a uh, to a round 13 rush. I think I don't know what his third tower is yet, so I do have to be a little careful. But I can't get away with ecoing a bit more now. The only thing is, if I eco too much, if he forces a boost, I'm pretty much done. So I have to be extremely careful not to boost. But I also need more eco. I'm probably gonna go for like 700 right now, and then maybe get up some more defense. I'll see. He's just going for Cobras. He's probably going to go for a high adjustment, I think. Eh, I can probably go 750 eco. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Only scary thing is he could... Uh... Yeah, the ceramics are going to do nothing. I have a destroyer, so... Also, he still hasn't forced anything. There he goes, now he's forcing stuff. I'm just going to get up my signal flare to defend that. Should be no problem. He could have forced some stuff here, but he didn't. Which is not good for him. I'm gonna go for a second destroyer now. And then I wanna keep on ecoing. I should be fine with this uh, for a good while, I think. Now he starts to adjust me, which is pretty bad on his part. I think he should have ecoed way more um, early on, because he didn't eco that much early on. And as you can see, right now he doesn't have a lot of money, and he's wasted a lot of money too on like sending me useless rushes, pretty much. Uh, but you can see he only has one adjustment up for some reason. He might send me like BFBs and stuff, I don't know. If he sends me a Moab, then I'll probably need to boost it. Perhaps, yep, I'm just gonna boost that. And now he's sending me Camo Pinks, which again, I have a Signal Flare. I have Camo Detection. Camo Pinks are gonna do nothing. Alright, I'm gonna go for a third one of these now. Gonna put two of these on strong in case of a follow-up mob. The thing is, he already boosted the rush at me. So he can't really, like, do much else right now. Oh, let's target this here. There we go. And let's keep on ecoing a bit. I'm now at a thousand eco. I do have to be very careful here, though. I'll go for this in case he, uh, in case he tries to rush me. I can easily sell a Buccaneer and then upgrade this to the left side. And I'll be fine. Alright, let's just slow everything down here. Let's target both of these to first. Alright, let's boost that. Just quickly gonna... Boat pull then. Uh, the BFB was definitely a mistake on his part. Now he just wasted a lot of money and now he should have very little eco left. So I can get away with ecoing a little more here. Thing is, I just wanted to slow it down, defend the ceramics and so on. Bad thing is, I have no boost. Um, but I should have more than enough money here to defend in case he tries to send me like a big rush. And yeah, we just forced the boost on his part here on... Uh, it's called round 21. Which actually should allow me to uh, be able to kill him here. Possibly. I should be fine against this because I have I have a blue, I have a lot of defense, and I do think he's gonna go down here. Yep, he didn't have enough uh, enough money. He sent me a lot of uh, kind of useless rushes, which in my case, had I over ecoed, would be hard to defend. Um, so <laughs> that's just that's just another thing. But let's uh, let's go one more time, see if we can get a proper map. Okay, we're against Ivan here. Let's see, indoor pools. Once again, I feel like I can't really teach you guys much on these uh, smaller maps. If we can get like something like offside or like whatever, so I can show you guys a proper strategy. Okay, water hazard. Honestly, this is not too bad. I will go boat mortar farm here. This strategy is also pretty good, especially for uh, for water maps. It's probably... Honestly, it's probably the best strategy for this map. But you have to be very <laughs> smart here, especially if you're going against better players. But the, the reality is my opponent is probably just going to all-out me round 13. 
that happens quite a lot here. I'm gonna spike once because I am gonna be going for my, uh, let's see, for my farm. And also we can get to, uh, what's it called, get down our buccaneer. I'm gonna go for more bananas too. My opponent does the same, so he's playing out his start properly, except for the fact that he got down three, or he put down two spikes or three, I'm not sure. He shouldn't have done that, that was kind of a waste. I'm gonna send to 263 eco, because now that we're playing in uh, 6.11, um, a grape shot is uh, gonna cost us 600, so I can only send to 263, and then I can afford a grape shot at uh, 48 seconds. Getting to know these small little eco points are pretty important too, by the way. And as you can see right now, he's just gonna leak a ton of lives because he didn't upgrade to a grape shot. And if he goes for his plantation now, he's gonna highly regret it on round four. So he's gonna need his grape shot anyway. I just send this for uh, for the sake of eco. All right. And since he has no boosts, we're just going to be boosting these at him. I normally don't recommend boosting pinks at anyone. And as you can see, rather than getting up defense, he just sends me pinks. Which is not really going to do... I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fine against these pinks. He might die to them. So as you can see, he's already made a huge mistake here. And it looks like he's, he's about to die to pinks. Yeah, we're just going to say well done. That's... I... Honestly, I don't, I don't really have a comment here. I, I hope you guys at least learn from his mistake. Because as you can see, greeting is not always good. You have to know when to greet and how to greet. And, and my opponent died to pinks because of his greed. So, I mean, it, it's just not a good thing to do. Okay. Let's see here. Focal 22. Why do we always get these, like, short maps? I feel like this is every single time. Like, we, we're always getting these very, very short maps. But okay, let's see. Mountain Pass, does he want to play this? He probably does, I don't know. Okay, he doesn't. We're gonna, we're gonna skip this. Ice Flow. Nah, another short map. Nah, let's skip this again. Shallow River, okay. Again, not my favorite. Um... But we will make it work. I'm thinking of going Buccaneer, Wizard, and again, I like to go Cobra. Especially on maps like these, I, like, I love to go Cobra. Again, I'm probably expecting like some all-out round 13 rush here. That's I wouldn't be surprised, okay? But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's put down our Cobra and let's see. Of course, again, here uh, on this map, just like any other, I want to start out with... My two Buccaneers, or I'm sorry, Buccaneers, my two Cobras, I don't want to anti-stall because as you saw, I did the same thing to the, um, to one of my previous opponents, and that prevented him from getting up his uh, his uh, second wired fund, uh, so we need this round to last till 24 seconds at least, which it might do, nope, okay, I missed my upgrade, so I didn't get my second wired fund. I don't know, I might have just been slow, honestly, but spam click, so or spam upgrade, I mean, so that you get up your uh, your second wired fund before 24 seconds, if you can. Also, right now, uh, here's a mistake from my opponent. He should be sending me rets, because right now, he's not forcing anything. If he sends me rets right now, he will force me to put down a buccaneer, and he will also force me to stop ecoing, which is both good for him. Um, it's all about these small forcing moves, basically, that he is not doing. And now I want to go for my third uh, wired funds. I probably could have, had I saved a little bit of eco there, I could have gotten it up a bit sooner. But it's okay. And as you can see, my opponent, he's still not forcing anything on me. Like, he's just allowing me to eco max out. Uh, eco as much as I want. Like, he, he's just allowing this. He's not doing anything to prevent it. Which is definitely not what you want. He now puts down a wizard, which by the way, the wizard is so expensive. It's really not worth it to put it down early. I feel like this is another mistake that a lot of ceramic crucible players make. Is they put down the wizard for absolutely no reason. But let's place down our spikes here. And now I'm going to go for the buccaneer because now I'm actually getting close to leaking a bit. Also, in case of round 6, in case he wants to send me anything, I do need to be uh, be a bit ready. Okay, so as you can see right now, this is good for me, because he's not getting up a plantation anytime soon. 
He didn't need a wizard. He could have defended this with just a buccaneer. He could have probably gotten down a second uh, zero zero buccaneer, but instead he's he wasted two thousand roughly on getting up his lightning because he also got up the firebolts. So this is clearly not good for my opponent. He's wasted so much money on unnecessary defense that now it puts him behind in farms. But me, I'm just chilling. I'm I'm here with minimal defense. I or minimum minimal whatever defense. I only have a zero zero buccaneer, and now I'm gonna get up a grape shot, and I'm gonna keep on ecoing for a bit, and I'm gonna get up a faster shooting if I need to, and I'm probably gonna go till. I'm probably gonna stop ecoing right here, honestly, and then just spam a lot of cobras. Again, always put all your cobras on strong because trust me, these work like mini sentries. They're so OP, like they're they're broken. Okay. Considering they, they are defense, offense, and farms at the same time. Like, they work as defense. And when you upgrade to the balloon adjustments, they work as offense as well. Alright, so I'm gonna go for this now. And now I'm gonna go for a uh, second Buccaneer. Put up a second Grape Shot. And as you can see, we are gonna be fine here. We take a few leaks, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm actually gonna upgrade to this now. Get up a Lightning Bolt. And... Yeah, this is more than enough to defend as well. Let's upgrade a crow's nest on this one. Get a monkey sense on our uh, wizard, and I don't, I don't know what he's trying to do. If he, if he tries to all out me, I'll spam sell my cobras. So going cobras on this map actually requires good micro, because if he sends me a huge rush, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do some stuff to defend. But as you can see right now, honestly, I can probably just all out him. Uh, but in case he has somewhat good micro, I'm not gonna do it, although I doubt he has good micro. But I'm gonna keep on going for all these Cobras. And I can defend whatever he sends with a boost, by the way. And I can just get up, uh, I can always get up more defense if I need to. I'm gonna get up a second faster shooting here. As you can see, we have a ton of Cobras. Um, and I'm gonna start upgrading all of these to, uh, balloon adjustments on... I'm thinking round 16, and I don't think he can defend that. And of course, right now I'm also saving up a bit of money in case he uh, tries to send me a rush. I can always just get up defense. Alright, so we're going to start adjusting him here. Let's go, and now he's going to start to receive a couple camos. And honestly, I feel like he's going to die to this. I'm just going to keep on adjusting him, and it does look like he's about to go down. There's a ceramic coming up behind, but it doesn't even matter. He goes down. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm not going to play any more Ceramic Crucible because this is the most boring mode for me, honestly. Um, but here's a bunch of common mistakes that a lot of people make. I hope that I explained it to the best of my ability. Well, I did explain it to the best of my ability, I think, and I hope you guys got something out of this video. Maybe it'll help you learn. Maybe it'll help you not make all of these mistakes. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is probably going to be my last... Uh, ceramic crucible video in a while i might make it another one another day i don't know but with that being said see you guys in the next video peace out yeah life can be super happy life can be super sad i'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad i go back to my future just to get to my past but knowing me my delorean will probably crash sometimes i get in a taxi when i ain't got no cash worry if my credit card don't work then i might have to